Hello, welcome everybody. Today we are in Rekketsport Schiedam, in Schiedam, with German, with Boy, uh, German's new business partner, and they both have the German's puddle approach on Instagram, which you can check out to watch more tips from German on Instagram. And today we are going to focus on the defense with a very good group, top 50 level of the Netherlands. We have Nick Wagenaar, number four. 54 of the Netherlands plays on the right side. Merlijn de Krom, number 30 of the Netherlands, was one of the youth players under 18. Plays on the right side but can also play on the left side. David Nijngolan, which is number 96 of the Netherlands, also a coach of Smash Padel, uh, gives lessons here in Schiedam. Boy Vergeer, owner of Smash Tennis and Padel, is a paddle coach and a tennis coach, is number 61 of the Netherlands. Paddle school Smash that gives lessons here in Schiedam and region of Rotterdam, South Holland. So if you want lessons, we will link them down below. And we focused on defense and with the defense, and I think German today is going to show them some different tools in how to become better in defending, but also more counter attack Chiquita wise. Yes, the idea will be first to make them realize that if they slow down the pace, they will have more time to move, they will have more time to think, they will make things more difficult for the opponent, and they will get more opportunities to play better lobs, but also to play uh, chiquitas and move forwards and, and have more variations so the opponent doesn't get used to the same uh, game all the time. And we're going to start right now. Vamos. <laughs> Venga! Venga, coño. Yeah. <laughs> Big A. Ah, lekker, bully! And we have seals on just tunnel.com. I like it. You like it? Good match. Now, the idea is first of all, warm up. Second, for this player, ball control. For that player, speed of the ball control. If you play fast, you're going to run like crazy. So, feel the ball on the racket long time. Contra-attack, learn to stop, have a transition volley and then go, or transition volley and back. But to learn to walk and stop here, you're going to see that is something that really, really important. So we can start working on that. Don't, don't let the ball push you back too much. See? Let me play once. Okay, if he comes there, no problem. I go there, sorry. This one, here. See? If I wait, 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 it's a lot difficult. So, the idea is that when I have the chance, I want to hit the ball on the way up. Not really on the way down. That one, the same, but a little bit slower. I slowly, slowly, yes. Feel the ball in your hand. Try not to have your grip so tight, so tight all the time. Relax it, and when you feel the ball, you can squeeze it a little bit more if you want, yeah? I, yes, yes. Easy going, bien. The ones in the net, try to move your legs towards the ball a little bit, as much as you have time, yeah? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Your position is good. But when you see the ball coming, slowly going, rather than, okay? Midline, don't come so far forwards. You're running too much, that's enough. See? We want you to be here, here, here. You need to get back here. And from here, just there. Don't go all the way because then you're gonna run a lot, yeah? I enough, eso.
Are we more or less warm? I guess, right? You have a good level. You seem to be good players. So for me, the work to do is tactical. Mm -hmm. To start knowing what are my options. Uh, if I'm in this situation, I can choose from this and that and try to help you with that decision-making process. And for me, the best way to work is with real situation, as we've been doing now, but the four in the same situation, okay? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you if you do this, this will happen. If you do this, this or this might happen. The choices will always be yours. My intention is to help you to find your game. There is a really basic tactics that seems pretty obvious, but in the match doesn't happen often enough, which is the habit of playing low, not fast, and towards the middle of the court a lot, okay? So that's the first thing we're going to work on. The speed is simple. Everybody has good volley here. So if you play fast, make my life easy. You have less time to move, to react. And when I play fast, you really have to understand that it doesn't matter how much you do that. If the ball goes fast, it's going to continue. What makes the ball drop is when the ball loses the speed, the gravity force will take it down. So that's the diff. If you play fast, I'm always going to have a high contact point. You understand why it's so important to play in the middle? So first is safe. Second, if you put it in the right place, it will always be difficult to decide who's going to take it or not. But as you say, you don't open angles. So in the moment I have the ball on my forehand, I can play there, 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 and there. As the ball is on my back and let's say here, the court has become very small. So for me to play in the fence or in the side glass, it is possible, but it's very, very risky. So most likely I will be playing either in the middle or in the back glass, which is for that player a much easier ball to defend. If you play here, yeah, that player has to be very fixed here as well. When you take me on this side, that player is free to move a little bit or to counterattack a little bit better. I can play there, yes, but again, I have a, a massive risk. The first three will be playing only down, and what we want is to play the first two balls to the middle. Then you have a free play. My advice is that you play more to the middle but you have a free play. The idea is also to see, well, if you play on the side, what happens? If you play on the middle, what happens? And we start making decisions from there. Your goal is to hurt them. How? You choose. You know more or less the places. As you are attacking, I will give you some advices as well. I'm not going to focus, but my main attention will be on, on that side. Okay, so that will be our first drill. If they play a short ball or whatever, you cannot play a love, but you can play Chiquita and counterattack. attack all right? Bien. Something important. Try to play with margin, but try not to play higher than the shoulders. Because with the ball up here, I can play a lot more angles than with the ball here. So good height to go is chest height. Mm -hmm. Okay? <clears throat> <laughs> Vale, you're playing three times faster than you should. That's why you have no time to move to adjust. Let me play one point, okay? Two. Bien. But you saw in the first five shots, the first five shots, how much time I had to move? And it wasn't too easy for you to attack me, right? One more time. Ba. Tu, vale. Yeah, if I come here, you have to be... But you understand the point. Hmm? Of course, it's more difficult because you cannot play love. Now, when I'm in a difficult situation that I cannot play slowly because it will be too risky, what can I do? on the body. For example, here, the mistake was mine. Because since he brought me so far here, I should have played there. 
to force him to go that way. So then he could help me more. Because even if he plays in the middle, the ball will be going on that direction. Since I play on the backhand, I let him play here, or he could also play there and get me in trouble as well. But the main priority right now is that you try to slow down the game because it's going away, away too fast. Not for you, the problem is theirs. Now, but having said that as well, sorry, you will need to move here. So if I play too fast, I might not have enough time to move and adjust firm, heavy balls, but not too fast, okay? Ahí, bien. Vale. The speed is much better. Now, when you hit that forehand, don't go to the middle. Yeah, always protect the corners. If he plays that same ball in the middle, what will happen? It comes back. But he catch you doing that. Try to stay more in the corners. The middle is always an easier ball and it gives you more time. Okay? Vamos. Stop. Okay? Vale. Claro. He's opening too much that corner. Punish him. Ahí. Bien. Vale, vale. But you see the first five shots? Much better. Now, since you're doing that, yeah, because in one of those, if you are playing here, you could. And maybe the next one is already a volley. But from there, you're giving them too much time of reaction, but also it's too hard for you to get there. So if they push you here, fine. You're probably gonna do this and come here, and as soon as you can, try to be here. You are all have good hands, okay? Then you can manage, because also a fast vivo, a fast bandeja, if you are here, you can block. From back here, no way, Jose. Yeah, be careful with running forwards. Make a little step, but don't go all in, because you don't know where he's gonna play. Bien, forwards, ahí. Better. When you play the slow one, always forwards. Not, yeah. Be careful with this because it's a little bit of misunderstanding here. Normally, we want top spin. Top spin is different in paddle. We don't come so much from the bottom up. So Nick. it's like a normal forehand, but instead of going straight flat, at the end, you can melt it a little bit. See, but so be careful with coming from, from down up so much because the ball will go like that. So always there and you close the face at the end a little bit. See, it's like you want to melt it down, not really spin. Yes, okay, bien, much, much better now. Okay, so now what happens next? We've been defending quite well, we created opportunities. So what do I do? You did it, you play and you went, but you went all in, you're still far from the net, and they are still close to the net, see? So what can we try to do? Can you play one point with me, please? I play, I go, I place it. Slowly. What do I want? I want them to keep the ball down still. And also, I want time to go. So I'm not gonna try to win the point from here. What did I do? I took him to the middle, I opened the angle. Slowly, why? Because I want to keep going. And now, I have more chance. But don't go for it from here. That's why we train what we train in the beginning. I do it one more time. So, chiquita, go. See? My partner will probably be there. But you see, since I stop early, I have a big control here. I can control the speed well. It seems to be risky, but it's not so risky if I play slowly. And if he gets it, he will not hurt me because he's gonna have it here. Could happen that I do this and he plays an amazing volley. Fine, I'm still close to go back. But if I do this and I go, well, you better be right because there's no turning back from that. Chiquita more towards the middle and the next shot we try to open the angle. Where? There 
or it could happen. Can you give me one on my forehand? It could happen that he moves to the middle as well. So I could find an angle there. What we don't really want is to go to the middle again, because that's the first thing they are going to cover. And from the middle, if you have to, you have to. But as much as there is a choice, we want to open the angles. And remember, touch slow, one more step, okay? If you have to make three steps before you get here for the winner, so be it. What happened? Yes, that's one of the problems to play the chiquita on the side. You make a choice, you went to cover this one. If I play chiquita on the side, I will have to cover that and that, it's too much. But the biggest mistake is that you didn't stop. If you will stop somewhere like there, yes. So remember, don't go all in, okay? Better. Still stopping a little bit late, but much better, yeah? Bien. And that's the other advantage of this. If you play and you stay there, they play comfortable. They have a long time, long space. But as soon as they see the opponent coming, they know they cannot play high on you because... Let me play one point. Normal playing. Middle. Ahí. Every time you do it, you're moving well, but you go there. He took him to the middle. There. Yes. This one important. When we play to the middle, why we play to the middle? Yeah. The, then use it. Yeah. So I'm playing for a purple. And it doesn't matter if it was me or if it was my partner. If the ball comes in a position that I can go for the corner, I will. Uh, and forehand player, normally, backhand ball has to go a lot on that corner. Doesn't have to be the sidewall. You see where the, what is it, uh, a bird in the back? That's a good spot to go. It's a safe spot, it's uncomfortable for him, okay? Vale. You're too far back. Yeah, if you were there, you realize that that would have been an easy volley. Yeah? Stay in the middle, mid line. Okay, you already won. I think you played four points already. And you won two just because you play in the middle. One, the first one, they didn't even touch it because they didn't. You see how important it is. Hmm? Milan, I would like you to be more here when the ball is in his back. Yeah, if you're so far back, the court is, is too big. It's all right that he's further back because he's going to take care of the middle. But if you are here, you can cut across a lot. Hmm? When the ball goes in that corner, then you come here and you shift. You go a bit more X. All right? Yeah. Nick, be careful because you are all the time there. Where should you be? Yeah. Let me explain you why, because I see you all more or less liking that. I guess it's tennis players. You see the line, you want to be behind the line, right? So let me explain you a few reasons why it could be a disadvantage. Stay back there where you were before. OK, try to get this ball. And it was not a drop shot. It was a silly ball, right? Good. Try to get this one. Tricky as well. Let's try again with the right position, or with, with the position I think is right. And I play shorter, eh? Get the position right again. You understand why? Bit more to the corner and a bit more there. Because let's say Milen is a great player, which I don't doubt he is, he for sure he is, and he plays there. But you have time for that. Look at the direction. So it's not a problem. The ball in the middle will always come back and will always give you more time of reaction 
than the balls in the corners. So protect the corners and don't forget, don't worry too much about the middle of the court, okay? Because also paddle nowadays is getting faster and faster. So many times block will be a good option, but to be able to block, you need to be close to the line. You cannot block from back there, all right? Let's try it again, come on. Where were you, Nick? Stop. Who hit the previous shot? He did. From where? So, where should we play the next shot? Okay. You see the difference? Many times it happens that we say, man, my volleys are not working well, I can't finish the point, I can't. No, it's not the volley. It's okay, it's not a bad shot, but you need to choose the right moment to do it. So, when do I choose to do it? When I'm more here, or when the ball is coming more from that corner, because the angle makes it easy to attack. Hmm? But normally, if the ball is on that player, my choices will be more middle, corner, fence to play there from time to time to surprise. Because if he's in the right place, it's a risky, it's, you're gambling, see? Now, the opponent is in the wrong place all the time. But if he's in the right place, for him it could be quite easy to do that, and then you're gonna be in trouble here. Okay, the goal now is when you can, chiquita, and go, but not on the first shot, okay? Try to go a bit slower. Yes, I. Bien, good choice. Why couldn't you get it? When he played, you were still running, see? And it could have happened to you, you did the same. So remember, stop there, because that shot, if you step, if you stop two steps in front of the line, you will see that you could let it bounce, let it come out, and then you could go for another chiquita, for a love, for whatever. Remember, what we really want is to play with the ball in front. But if I'm rushing there, most of the time, I'll play with the ball behind. So that for me would be priority number one, okay? Vamos. Ah, uh, ah, uh, stop, stop, wait, wait, wait. Good defense, good counterattack. Now, when you stop there, you did stop. The ball came up, perfect. What you did wrong? The choice. Actually, he was running, he saw it and he went for it. Yeah. If you would take half a second more over there. Now, if this is too uncomfortable for you and this is more comfortable, fine. But normally, if you learn to use that reverse angle, it's fantastic. You're gonna see that it's always gonna be one slow step and not doing more. Why? Because since I'm playing, I don't have time for more. So I prefer to be in the wrong place, ready, that going towards the right place, like, see? One more time and then I'll let you play. Vamos. Vale, bien. My mistake was the wall came up too much in that, but you see what I mean, right? So try not to go crazy fast. So, do you know the difference between a slow ball and a chiquita? Well, the chiquita is always slow. The main difference is the depth of the ball. Can you take place? Just don't hit it. No, no, stay, stay in the net, stay in the net. Okay, stay somewhere. Chiquita is a short ball, goes to my opponent's feet. A slow ball is just a normal forehand. See how deep it is. So most of the time, that's the ball I want to play. So if you try to play chiquitas all the time, it's difficult, it's risky. So make the opponent volley. Don't be afraid of the opponent volleying. Just make sure you put the ball in a place that's not going to destroy me. Now, when I have an easy ball and I'm in a position to counterattack, then I play a chiquita. This is how I normally play, see? It's slow, but it's long. Fine, try to attack me. You can't really attack me so much, right? Now I play chiquita. Is it my point? No, no. <laughs> vale. 
Bien. But you see what I mean. I can play long and still he's not going to kill me. As long as I play slow and as long as I don't give him an easy ball to kill me. So, what do we focus on? These kind of shots, where to? Yeah, no, middle. So it could be my backhand, could be his forehand. Whenever he won the ball, the point was because he had it up here on the right. Yeah, of course. If he would have it here, it would have been a different story. So try to play there, there, there. Sometimes you can vary until you find the, the situation where you can play the chiquita, okay? Look at the difference. Don't you feel more comfortable now? Don't you feel more time? It's the speed of the ball. And remember, never too high. Better. Vamos. Ahí, ahí, bien. That's the volley. See? Even if you have it down here, don't play up. Play forward. Probably slower because it's lower. It depends where he is, but if he's there, can you put a, like a ball somewhere here? The important thing is how I'm going to play it. Also, there is a good option. Yeah? One more time. See, there. So, if he's there, I wouldn't do that. One more time, same shot, okay? If he's there, probably that will be my choice. See, again. A bit lower. Or, well, that was a bit my but or there, what I, but I don't want to play high because that's when he can come and counterattack. Okay. Yeah, okay, stay, 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 stay there. Don't move, Mil Milay. One of the problems was that you are where you shouldn't. So since you are here, he thinks it's your ball, of course. So you should be a more forward, more high. Then, the ball is yours. Now, if you are in the wrong place, take it, no problem. But for me, you are too much in the middle. I don't know if it's your usual position or it's because you know they're going to play here. But also, if I saw this, you should see it as well. And play a few times there to push him there. Yes? Last one. More to his feet, not to the side wall. If he keeps going, keeps going, from time to time you push him side. Vale, yeah, that's when you have to go to the middle, Millet. So, as long as the ball is on his backhand, but as soon as he turns for a forehand, take a step. Because the probabilities that he played there are lower and the risk of play there is, is very high. Okay, now one last thing about defense. When you create that opportunity that you will choose to play a chiquita, there's also a good opportunity to play a love as well. Okay, that's when you should play a love. Not when the ball is 300 miles per hour and then, ah, ah, no. So when the ball is difficult, when the ball is fast, when the ball is too low, boom, 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 boom. When I have a floating ball, I have a ball in front of the line, then I have a choice. It's either the love, or either the chiquita. How do I choose? Depends on my skills, depends on the opponent's skills. If the opponent has a really good smash and not such a good volley, probably I choose to go more there. If I have players with amazing volleys, maybe I would choose to open up the space more and I would try to go more overheads. Yes? If I really quick player, I'm a quick player with a good volley, so I always love this kind of game. So, it's not this is right, this is wrong. You need to be a bit aware of what are your strengths and try to go more that way. I like playing fast, blah, 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 etc. But tomorrow I find two players that are faster than me, that are really comfortable with that game. Well, today I'm going to do what I don't like. I'm going to play slow. I'm gonna... You need to analyze the context as well. It's not just do this, no. Every match is different, every opponent is different, okay? get some drink and we come back. Thank you for watching the video. Good that you stick to the end of the video. Don't forget to follow Herman's Puddle Approach on Instagram, not on TikTok, right? No, 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 no. no. Soon on YouTube. Soon on YouTube. We will link it down below. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions regarding to this subject, 
Let them know below and Germán or me or Boy will answer all of the questions. Adios. Thank you.